Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, once again to part two of the Fatal Four Way Pay Per View. And I'm alongside my broadcast partner, Scotty Bear. Welcome, bro. It's great to be here in Tampa, Florida. It only took me five minutes to drive down here, finally. God damn. And I actually knew where the building was, so nobody had to give me directions. Oh, what the hell? What the hell is going on backstage? Roger Stone oh. and Adam Cole, and there's Pete Dunn. thank God. Mm. Interesting strategy. Yeah, but is, is that game going to be even 100%, 100% in the main event tonight? That is not good. Indeed it isn't. But, I mean, look at this match we got coming up here. Ricochet, Naito, Mysterio, and Okada for the Bantamweight title. Holy crap, boys. Time to rumble. I know the Bantamweight division is one of those high-flying aerial salts. And we got a lot of that Rey Mysterio, the veteran. Naito, who, who is coming up the ranks already. As he comes up first. Yep. Naito, very much going to be tranquilo in this match, hopefully. Coming out nice, easy. Not too flashy, not too gimmicky. It's going to be interesting to see how he gets ready for his, this match against these three other competitors. Ricochet is looking for some some revenge against Okada, knowing the fact that he lost the championship. Let's see, coming in, looking at the crowd. People know it's going to be crazy. Man, so weird to be here in Tampa. Why is it so weird to be in Tampa there, Scotty? Because, I mean, this this is this is my stomping grounds here. Oh, uh, well. You, you probably see a lot of the fans that you recognize, too. Yeah, I know. There's Gary over there. Hey, Gary! Oh, Gary. How you doing? Doing good? Good. Yeah. Gary's my next-door neighbor. And then here he comes. The flippy Mexican. The flippy Mexican is Ray Mysterio, the veteran. Uh, the underdog. I mean, he could be the underdog tonight. Is he really the underdog in this match? Is he really? I mean, let's be serious here. I mean, he's, he's not really the underdog. He's one of the fastest wrestlers in the world. And he can use that speed immensely in this kind of a match. So, if anything, he's not the underdog in this match. He's one of the favorites to win this match. That, that is very, very true. But out comes one of my favorites in, in FOW, and his entrance speaks for itself. Oh, man. Ricochet. The King Ricochet. I got me a new vape, Scotty, so I'm excited and happy. So you might be hearing that. Why you, why you, why you have it? Can't believe you still have this vape problem. It's, it's over. It's abused, and you need to stop. You need to get something like crack or cocaine. Crack. Yeah, yeah, because that's even better. It can be sometimes. You just don't go, you know, snorting crack all the time. You do it every once in a while, you know. 
ease into it. Don't go, you know, balls to the walls with it. I mean, you stress me out sometimes doing this commentary gig, okay? Well, yeah, but you don't need, you know, to use a vape that's just as bad as, you know, a cigarette. Jeez, don't be blowing that smoke over here, you son of a bitch. You're welcome, Scotty. You're my best friend. I hate you. Oh, but you know you love this match. You know you're excited about it. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be interesting to see a Prince of... I mean, Ricochet out there. Yeah, I mean, he, he's one of those guys that you, you can't underestimate in any fashion because he will shock you. But out, come, out comes the Bantamweight champion himself, Okada. He's not really a Bantamweight. He's a heavyweight. I mean, he, he wants to go up the ranks and he's starting out with the Bantamweight division. I mean, that's not a bad thing. Uh, he wants to go up against I mean, the top five flyers and uh, technically got three of them in the ring tonight. You, you have a good luchador. You have an easily abused wrestler. And then you have Rey Mysterio's knee. So it's... Oh, it is... It is not easy to be Kajushiko Okada for sure, but I mean, in the bantamweights, I mean, we're talking about a former IWGP heavyweight champion, a former TNA original. Now, now we got you know Bozo over here going after smaller guys. He's bullying people. He is immediately bullying people who are smaller than him. Well, that is Okada. Jim Tunney was trying to get him for the heavyweight division. He said he wanted to destroy people. Yes, because he's a bully. And there it is. The bantamweight title. You know, I've noticed this. I'm going to be interested to see what Okada does here in the first fall. Because if, if my memory serves me correct, all of the champions up till this match have lost in the first fall oh definitely but uh, yeah that is that i haven't even thought about that now until now and that's a little crazy hopefully that doesn't happen to okada it's good that it, it it can possibly happen it, it could very well we've seen it multiple times at part one yes this is an elimination so it's it's absolutely possible that okada could be the first two men out of this match Definitely, but look at what Okada's doing. Oh, right there. Oh. There he is looking. Okada getting him in the corner. Let's see what Okada's got for him. Yeah, picking him up top. And oh, Naito with the elbow. And uh, drop kick. Beautifully done. While Rey Mysterio has ricochet with another drop kick on the outside. Excuse me. My esophagus issues are killing me right now. Yeah, maybe you should hit off that vape, you know. All right. Jeez. Oh! Still has a stupid vape thing. Did you see that miss by Nayato, though? Oh, you see this miss by Nayato with the smoking in <laughs> me. Oh, come on. Let's call the match. It was just a joke. Just a joke. You're poisoning yourself. Yeah, 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 and you poison yourself, uh, root for people that never win. Hey, now, you don't have to be so mean. I uh, can't yeah, me, me, okay. Okay, but let, let's call this action, because this is high-flying action. We're going to see it a lot. Oh, I'm so bad at the girl of suit. Oh, what? Oh, Tombstone Pile Driver by Nayato and Okada. Could he be eliminated? What? Oh, nope. Oh, no, close. Remember, Okada, Okada still has stamina. I mean, sure, he's might he might have been wrestling smaller wrestlers, but I mean, he still has the stamina to go the that sixty minutes still. Yeah, and then that jawbreaker. But you gotta admit, though, Naito is also not that small as well, so he could very well be a problem. For a bigger bully. Yeah, he could be a problem for Okada in this match. But all three men on the outside while Naito is down, and these guys are. Oh no. Oh, here we go. Here comes the Japanese commentary desk. I know. 
Look at these boys. Come on, put them through the table. Well, ricochet. Referee might as well just stay outside. Oh, DDT. One, two, oof. Oh, oh, we could have seen a new champion crown there. Yep. How many see them put have we actually seen change hands? Um, except for maybe... Well, I mean, we still have the tag and the world, but all the other ones have changed hands. That's insane. I mean, the only the only title that has not changed hands is the Iron Man title, but that wasn't defended in a four-way. Yeah, so, so that's going to be the scary part, is the Fatal 4-Way pay-per-views are going to be one of those uh, scary situations for the champions involved. Indeed, for sure. So I, I can't wait to see who will... Will be the one looking in the mirror with the title belt around his waist. Yes. Yes. Oh, oh and Okada. Okada. Naito and did. the best part, Naito just walks away like nothing happened. It's smart. Let him, uh, let him lay there in pain. And now Ni uh, Okada has a kendo stick. Yep. Mm. Oh! And, re Rick. and hits Rey Mysterio to throw a chair away. Good yeah. job, Okada. J good job. Beating up smaller wrestlers. Oh, One, two, three. Oh! oh Ricochet's the first to be eliminated. Shockingly, Nayato eliminated, and that's his first elimination of the night. Yep. Oh, oh what is this? But not Ooh. Oh, my God. That Reverse is, DDT. Yes, that is a oh, sickening thud, too. I've heard it clear over here. When you hear the wood, like, snap just a little bit, it's crazy. No, no, I forget. Is this a Tennessee ring that we got here? I don't know. It could be a uh, backyard West Virginia, where I'm from. Hey, I'm asking because it, 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 the ring does matter sometimes, yes, okay? Yes, it does. Oh, now Okada is just annihilating Naito and Rey Mysterio with a kendo stick. There he goes, rolling out of the ring. Oh, man. Okada bullying up a little Mexican. You racist bastard. Hey, it's half true. That is true. Okay, I get that. Yeah. But bring us right back at you. Right over the top rope there, and what is Okada? Uh oh. Oh, 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 DDT. Second rope DDT. One, two, Oof. Oh, Rey Mysterio with a kick out, and now Naito back in the ring. Oh! Poison Rana! Oh, oh my gosh! Naito just hit that perfectly in. One, two, oof! So oh. close to that, too. Okada barely hanging on there. Ooh, Okada coming out. Oh, Destino! Oh, right on top of Rey Mysterio. Oh! Oh, Okada. Quick roll up. One. Two. Oof. Oh, oh roll oh. reverse. One. Two. Three. Oh, oh we're going to have got a new champion. Wow, that's at least 75. That, right now, that is 100% champion change. So far in FOW at the Fatal 4 Way Paper View. Let's see what Naito does. Oh, oof. Oh. Naito's back. Naito's back. Yep. It's it's weak. It's hurt. So, any early predictions? Oh, oh hang on. Code red. Oh. One. Two. Oof. Oh, and smart by Rey Mysterio to go right at the back. Right at the... Right there and then. Oh. Destino. Bam. Right on the back of the head. Cover. One. Two. What? Oh my gosh, Rey Mysterio with a kick out, shockingly. Wow. Oh, that is a rare move to kick out of. Oh, Destino usually always ends the match. But now, it's going to be interesting to see what Tetsuya Naito has in store for Rey Mysterio now. Oh, misses oh. the elbow drop. You do not want to hit miss those kind of uh, attempts, because especially now that it's one-on-one, -on -one, this is your opportunity and what's Rey Mysterio thinking oh Oof. 
Was that a flying uppercut? I mean, I mean, headbutt? I mean, Jesus. Rey Mysterio pulling out all kinds of crazy maneuvers here. What is this on Rey Mysterio? Oh, right on the concrete. Oh, that yep. backdrop. What is going on, though, Scotty? What is next for these two? I mean, it could go anywhere. These two have been very influential in Lucha Libre style wrestling. Naito, more of the strong style, especially with that power bomb. Wow. Wow. And more wow. Insane. And then, and then Rey Mysterio, oh. more more of the high flyer of the of the Lucha Libre style. And it's going to be interesting. Oh, we got a submission remember, attempt. Yep, and, and you can remember that this could happen right here. I mean, we just saw it earlier. Naito beat Ricochet and pinned him and eliminated him. And just let this sink in. Oh, DDT. Oh, Naito, is bl he's busted open, Scotty. That oh, concrete, here we go. That unforgiving concrete. And what oh. is this? Very Mysterio. A flippin' powerbomb. Uh, I think it looked like Rey Naito reversed it. Then Rey Mysterio reversed it right back by landing on his feet and powering Naito up for the powerbomb. This is insane of a one-on-one -on -one match. Uh-oh. He's here all goes. destino. Right on the kendo stick. One, two, three. Naito. And Tets Nuya Naito is your new champion. Wow. Congratulations to Naito here tonight. And let this sink in right now, Scotty. Naito just pinned all three men in this match. Pinned Ricochet, pinned Okada, and then Rey Mysterio to win the Bantamweight Championship. If that doesn't speak volumes for Naito's abilities to... to basically hold this division hostage I don't know what does look at that replay right on the back of the head in the neck jeez let's see you night to ladies and gentlemen your winner and new bantamweight champion congratulations yet to Naito busted open and all but never gave up and showcased his abilities to win and defeat and pin and eliminate all three men. So yeah, now we are we are a hundred percent. All titles have changed hands tonight, and normally that doesn't happen. But in Fatal Four Way, anything can happen. All of them have changed in Fatal Four Way matches. Yep. Remember, I mean, we got the Iron Man title still that never changed hands. Yeah. So I mean. Well, that, that's what I'm saying, is that the Fatal 4-Way matches itself were at 100%. I mean, what a, what a start of the night already. we still got two more matches, ladies and gentlemen. But up next is the Tag Team Championship match. I do want to make an announcement. You do see Edge and Christian, but due to a, an attack outside the live events of the pay-per-view of the stadium, Edge and Christian is not medically clear to be in the match now. And we Indeed. still don't know who, who did it and why. I mean, I have a few ideas of who it could be. But, I mean... I have no clue. But we do have an announcement though, Scotty. This team that's coming out right now will be replacing Edge and Christian. And it's the Dudley Boys. And the number one suspects on the list. I can't really say it was the Dudley Boys. I know they are straight from straight out of Dudleyville, but I mean, have you ever been to Dudleyville? Uh, not, yes, once. I nearly well, grabbed my pants. Well, have you ever been to Dudleyville fully, though? Uh, I don't think I want to be. Have you? Listen, yes, and Dudleyville is nice this time of year. Very summer. I mean, they got a beautiful lake and a pond, too. I mean, sure, the table factory is a little odd, but, you know, it's okay. I and you know what? The Dudley boys are nice human beings, but I wouldn't... I, I, I'm putting them as suspect number one. 
to be truthful and honest. They had the most to gain from this. They're, they're in the match now, which is quite odd. But, That's you true. know... That, that is true. And, and I, I just do want to tell you one little story I know about uh, Dudleyville. Is Bubba Sky lives there with Bubba, with Bubba Ray Dudley now, okay? And I heard she's always at the Cheesecake Factory eating Oreo-flavored cheesecake. Let that sink in. The best kind of cake, cheesecake. Hell yeah it is! Including strawberry. Can't go no wrong. You could but, go fuck off with your strawberry. Why so me? Because strawberry sucks. Me. Strawberry sucks in cheesecake. And we we both know though this guy's a big Oreo fan. She she's always asking about Ray not to eat all of them. Yeah. And he still does. What an asshole. You better replace them. Hey now. Bubba is a nice human being. Against as your Christian, fuck him. But he is a nice human being in real life. But I'm still curious on, on the suspects of who attacked Edge and Christian. I hope we find out the answers to that. But out comes your boys. Don't have any early predictions, Scotty, on, on how this I mean, match is going to go. Because all, all the teams are going to be in the ring at the same time. And it's elimination. So this could come down to teams being eliminated or... It could even end with two-on-one attacks. I mean, it's going to be interesting to see for sure. I mean, are they going by tag rules or no? No tag rules. It's tornado tag team style fatal four-way elimination. That's going to be the scary part. How mm. are we going to call this action? You can't call this action. You just grab to a person and, you know, just start shaking them violently. That's that's pretty much what you have to do in this kind of a match for a call. Yeah, uh, we're just gonna unless it's a baby. You don't want to shake a baby violently. Uh, yes, Nitsky. But uh, any of anyways, wasn't his fault. Hey, I talked to him one time. He was actually nice. Oh, was he? Try to try, try to this. sell me some. Try he tried to sell me some stuff on his like TV show, but you know what? I bought one thing. I didn't buy everything. Oh. What was it? It was a nice cooking plate, okay? Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it was a nice stone plate. That very, very is... surprised. But it, it was kind of odd that he called it the baby shaker. But you know what? It was it, 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 it was good enough. I, I just yeah. said, you know what? It's a nice stone. That's it. But I do want to point this out. The tag team champions, Young Bucks, are making us wait. Making all three teams wait. I mean, we've been staring at all the fans. Look, there's Gary again. Yeah, well, Gary's on the front row, okay? He used to be, he used to work with me in NWO, okay? <sighs> He's going to be okay. I mean, they're, they're making him wait very, very long, guy. Uh, but that is tag team division. I mean, that is the tag team champions. They are playing some mind games with other tag teams, so... These guys better watch each other's backs, or we might see another title change here tonight. I know you'll be happy if that happens as well, so... Oh, absolutely. I want to see these little bitches lose their titles. Especially, especially to the Undisputed Era. That would be fantastic. That would be fantastic. Uh, I, I'm just really excited to see all four teams collide in one ring. And it's going to be one of those moments where anything goes, anything happens, and if, if, if I had to pick a team, I would have to agree with you. The Undisputed Era, they are. The oh, whoa, here we oh, go. shoot. Quick attack. They all just started fighting. They all just got in the ring and started brawling. Well, yeah, it's a fail four-way <laughs> Texas Tornado match. What do you expect? I expect them to at least uh, uh, introduce the teams, but oh my god, Matt Hardy. What was that? Listen, Nick Jackson? Everybody knows the teams already. It's easy to figure out who's who. I mean, I Kyle O'Reilly came down with a air guitar in his hands. And and the Hardy boys, you know, did the little pyro-ish thing without pyro. That, that is true. But I do want to point out that was Matt Jackson. 
hitting that super DDT on the apron on Matt Hardy. Matt versus Matt. And look, and another DDT on the outside to Matt Hardy. And oh, oh my god, Bobby! Bobby! Oh, Bobby fish over the top rope by Bit. Bobby, are you okay? Oh, somebody's eliminated. The Elite are eliminated! Yes! Nick Jackson is eliminated, but that does not mean the Young Bucks are done. Matt Jackson is still involved in the match. Oh, uh, he's going to go down easy. That is going to be not good for Matt uh -oh. Jackson himself. Uh-oh. Oh, ooh. Uh -huh. that's, a, that's a jump up. Ooh. Here comes the Dudleys. Uh-oh. And look, th this is what the Undisputed Era is going to do. They're going to focus on one guy, team up on him, control mm -hmm. the action. They're going to watch each other's backs. So that is smart. Indeed. One, two. Oof. So Jeff, close. Jeff Hardy with a kick out there. Oh! Jeez, who, who turned on the fan? I, I Just, don't know. It's but... weird. I, I heard a fan go off. I, that is a little weird. Oh, and Bobby Fish on the still steps by Bubba. Oh, this action's action packed. I don't know how to call it. And another DC to Matt D -D. Hardy. That's the third Jeez. one, and I don't know how long Matt Hardy can last. I mean, he's got Jeff still. That is true. That is, that is. true, true. Oh man, so Matt Jackson oh. is all alone and another DDT on somebody. Matt Jackson is trying his best to stay in this by himself. And now that oh. Matt Jackson is gone, oh! Now that good good Jackson, reverse by Kyle O'Reilly. Definitely, but now that Nick Jackson is gone, that Young Bucks are going to lose the champions tonight. The titles for sure. They have I mean, it's, it's going to be a miracle if they even do it. Oh! Swanton! Swanton! And then Bubba Ray on the outside. You owe me a Coke. Oh, Bubba Bomb by Bubba Ray. But Devon Dudley actually did kick out. And now Bobby, you, still, you still owe me a Coke, though. Of course I do. I'll give it to you. You want it right now? No, thank you. Would I'll you wait like, for the next one. Uh, would you, would you like, like to try my new berry, my new uh, wild berry Dr. Pepper? I've uh, oh, tried it. One. Damn good. Two, three. Oh wow, Bobby Fish is now eliminated. Fuck. So now Kyle O'Reilly is all by himself, just like Matt Jackson. But Matt Jackson is, has been alone since the very, very start of this match. Oop, Kyle O'Reilly throw over. Damn, to Jeff Hardy. Yep. Now the last two are still oh. are still in this. Uh oh. Oof. Colorado going for a brain buster there. Oh look, Matt Hardy. Oh, right into the chair that was pinned at the. T One, two, oof. Oh. Only a two count. I thought that was a big. Oh no, Kyle Riley with a pin on Hardy, but immediately in Samoan dropped to Matt Jackson. Here we go. Senton. Oh. oh. Belly flop there. Two. Oof. Matt Jackson is. is uh. It's only time is going to tell that Matt Jackson is going to be done. Nobody so watches is, back. So is Kyle O'Reilly. Yeah, but uh, you got to admit, Matt Jackson has been. Oh! Super oof. kick! Big kick there by Matt. Two. Oof. You gotta admit, Matt Jackson has been alone longer than Kyle O'Reilly has. But still alone, nevertheless. There's some true stuff there. No, sharpshooter by Matt Jackson on Bubba Ray. Money shot. But the strength of Bubba Ray already throws him off. Devon going at it fist to fist of Matt Hardy in a reversal. Kyle O'Reilly has Jeff Hardy up. Matt's going know. up to the top. Oh! Right to Bubba Ray Dudley! Oof. One, One, two, three. Oh, Bubba Ray Dudley is now eliminated. So, Matt Jackson, Kyle O'Reilly, and Devon Dudley both. both. Well, all three of them are gone. Oof! 
One, two, ooh, oh, so hard. close for Kyle. Not if I'm the Hardys, I'm starting to double team on everyone. Oh, Jeff Hardy. Three. Oh, and Matt every Hardy. team has lost one person. Yep, now it's down to Jeff Hardy, Devon, Matt Jackson, and Kyle O'Reilly in this match. Fatal four-way now for these teams, officially. And Matt has a sledgehammer. Yep, and that it's never good, but he did throw it on the outside, which is kind of smart as well. Jeff Hardy has Devon up. Super kick. Oh, powerbomb as soon as the super kick happened. Pinfall. Where's the ref? Where's the ref? I think he just got knocked out, by the oh. way. And now he's back in. Slides out. He is running for One, his two, three. Wow. wow. The Dudleys have been officially eliminated from this Fatal 4-Way match. Now down but, to three men. But think about this. It took, Je it took Jeff maybe 12 seconds yep. for that pinfall. Yep. And now with Kyle O'Reilly... Has Kyle, him, Kyle. Has him locked in. Let's see what Kyle does next. Ooh. Oh, Matt Jackson. Oh. Oh. Matt lifts him up, throws oh. him down. Good job. Oh. And now Jeff Hardy. Oh. Forearm to Jeff Hardy. Ooh. Kicks Kyle. It looks like Kyle O'Reilly and Jeff Hardy. Ankle are lock. Ankle, ankle lock. lock. Oh, rope, rope break, break there. But have you noticed now, Kyle O'Reilly and Jeff Hardy have been working together to eliminate Matt Jackson to officially For sure. crown, what? Oof. crown new champion. So this is smart, oh. but how long is it going to last? A little miscommunication there. Uh oh, it looks like it looks like Kyle's going for oof. Oh nope, goes for a stop instead. Oh, small package. One, two, three. Oof. So close to that three. Oh. Here comes Jeff. Kyle Raleigh. Roll up. Oh, but a rope break. Corkscrew by Jeff. Oh, and Matt the DDT. Jackson, but, oh, and a super kick to Kyle O'Reilly. Here comes the pin. One, two, three. Damn. Uh, wow, the Undisputed Era is now eliminated. It's down to Matt Jackson of the Young Bucks and Jeff Hardy. Kyle Driver to Matt. Oh. To Je uh, Jeff Hardy there. Matt Jackson has started this match without his tag team partner literally like a minute in and is staying in this ball game. Oh. 450 miss. Wow. I will have a lot more respect if Matt Jackson can pull this one off. I don't Jeez. think people have the same There it goes. Twist the fate. fate. Oh. Winning leg drop. Jeff Hardy probably should have went for the cover there after the twist of fate, but another, none of the less. Here he goes. Let's see what he's got next. Reversed. Uppercut by Matt. Another DDT. A, another spiking DDT. Matt Jackson has used that in his arsenal oh. all night long in this match. Oh, and a cross body. <sighs> Pinfall. One. Two, oh. oh, only a one count. The hype is real. Jeff Hardy with a drop kick to the back of the head. See what he goes for next. <clears throat> uh oh, Jeff Hardy going up top there, Scotty. Could he be going Here we for go. petting it? Swanton, Swanton bomb by Jeff. That's it. One. This could be it. Two. Oh, oh my gosh, Matt Jackson with a kick out at two and a half, two and three quarters. What a match. Jeff Hardy trying to get the crowd behind him to win the tag team champions of FOW. Can it be? Need a face. Matt Jackson has got to be out. There's no way he can. Oh, 
No way he can do this. Oh, oh super this is kick. a super kick. Oh, so close by man. Drop kick to the face. The bloody Jeff Hardy is out. See? Ooh. Oh, misses it. Forearm smash. Irish whip. Jeff Hardy. Throws him oh. into the ring post. That is brutal and sick. Jeff Hardy lifting him up. Sit down, power bomb. Sit down, Adam Bomb. Yes, it was indeed. What a tag team match, and what a one on one match to end the Fatal Four Way oh. tag team match. Oh, what can you call that one right there? But Jeff Hardy pulling everything in his arsenal to try to win the champions. One, two, three. Oh, oh Matt Jackson so close. Jeff Hardy just fingertips, just, just inches away from winning. One move away to beating the Young Bucks for the champions. Going up top, could he be going for his last opportunity at the Swanton? Here it comes. Jeff Hardy yes. missed. Wow. Super and another kick. super kick. Oh, Go here it comes. Sharp shooter. Money shot. But a rope break. Ray. Wow. That is a... Oh, that is unfortunate for Matt Jackson there. What a match, Scotty. The tag team division, this fatal four-way oh. match has been on fire. Start to finish. Here it goes. Let's see what he's got next. Spear! Oh, no, Jeff Hardy reversed it into a DDT. Wow. I um, thought... And gets him with the arm. Oh, went for uh, something there. What is this? Oh! Re reverse splash. Pin. One, two, oh, oh only Jeff a two. Hardy. Matt Jackson's a little frustrated that Jeff Hardy somehow referee stopped the count. I don't know why. May have been, may have been Jeff's shoulder was a little bit up. I mean, it doesn't, it could be a little bit off, but still be not counted. I know, but these two men are exhausted. I don't know who can do this if Matt Jackson. Oh, oh this is a super kick. This is a side flash. slam. Wow. Oh, you know, and then here it goes again. Oh. Face busta. But Matt Jackson smart to not go for the cover because he was too close to them ropes. Smart. Oh, oh. And here goes that kick again. Smashes. Oh. Jeff reverses. Oh, oh slingshot on the ropes. Oh, man, this is insane right now. Jeff Hardy. This is oh. a punch. I don't, know how Jeff, for his own. I don't know how Jeff Hardy can even stand. I mean, see. Oh, oh right. It's the ropes and the apron. Jeff Hardy. This could be his last ditch effort to beat Matt Jackson and win the champions for Hardy's. Oh, super, super kick. kick out of nowhere. Oh, my God. Right when Hardy went for the swanton, Matt Jackson countered it. Can Matt Jackson shockingly retain the champions? One, two, three. Oh my god, the Young Bucks. Matt Jackson just pulled off the shocker for his team and his brother Nick. I can't believe Matt Jackson pulled this off with Nick Jackson getting eliminated a minute in. Scotty, you have some found respect now for the Young Bucks. Never. At least Matt Jackson, come on, at least a, just a tiny bit. Look at that replay, Swanton on Devon. Well, I mean, the dude just got up after a beating of sorts. I mean, I I don't really see how the Bucks got away with this. They must have been cheating with something. Uh, no, something it, was there. No, there's, it was not. Matt, Matt Jackson pulled this one off somehow, some way. I gotta give him just a tiny bit of respect. I know I don't like him 110%. I know the Young Bucks are a cocky team, especially being with the Elite, but they pulled it off. I, I, I mean, I think they cheated. I'm betting Edge and Christian had their number. I really did. I, I, I don't know. I mean, Edge and Christian was just about out of the dude. It's, oh man, what a, what a match. They should have never won.
man. They should have never won. The, the, the question is, what's next for the Young Bucks? But moving on to the main event of tonight, CM Punk defending the FOW Championship against Pete Dunn, Chad Gable, and Adam Cole, baby. You're saying it wrong. Oh. It's Bay Bay. Whatever, I said Bay Bay. You're, you're adding an extra E in there. Whatever. It's Bay Bay. Whatever. Whatever. None of the less, Scotty. You, you said it wrong. <laughs> At this point, this match is, uh, is going to be a difference maker. <laughs> for someone. Now, the question is, okay, we, for the first time in the Fatal 4-Way matches itself, we had the Young Bucks retain. Will we see CM Punk retain in the main event? I mean, the last time he was in a Fatal 4-Way elimination match like this, he lost to a, a then-unknown Jamie Noble. So, it'll be interesting to see how... CM Punk deals with the same dynamic as he once had. I mean, we don't have a Samoa Joe style person in this match. We may not have a Christopher Daniels like person in this match. We may not even have a Noble like character in this match. But still, it is a four man elimination match. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see how CM Punk deals with these almost same minded individuals. And, and, and another thing that we need to that we, we have to question is Chad Gable going to be able to uh, be healthy in this match because of the attack earlier tonight? Good thing Pete Dunne was there. I don't know why Pete Dunne would would make a save for a, a, a opponent that that's involved in the match with him, but that is Pete Dunne. He wants everybody to be 110% and and, and go after him. Chad Gable right now looking good and looking a little bit healthy. I think he's I'm, this is his, I mean, his revenge. I mean, his ribs could be taped up. We don't know. Yeah, the singlet could be. Chad Gable's singlet could be, you know, blocking that. So, it's it's good part on Gable. But, I mean, I don't know how it's going to handle in this match. Oh, definitely. <laughs> oh, man, Chad Gable is, he's out here to get a little revenge on what Adam Cole did to him at the last pay-per-view, costing him the, the championship opportunity and win against CM Punk that he was very close to getting. And, and out comes the man himself. Go ahead, Scotty, say it. You said it again. Meow 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 I love Adam Cole's theme song. Uh, it's the Undisputed Era's theme song. Thank uh, you very much. He is the leader. The leader deserves all the recognition for putting together a group of the talented, most shocking the system. And the question is, can Adam Cole shock the system? And tonight's matchup, and actually win the Fatal Four Away pay per view match for the FOW Championship. He has all the all the momentum now that he attacked uh, Gable with Roger Strong. I wouldn't call him the leader of the Undisputed Era because you see, there are no leaders in the Undisputed Era. There is a cohesive unit in the Undisputed Era. You see. When the four horsemen got together, there was no leader. They were all in the same branch. There was not one man who was better than the other. There was not one man who was less than the other. They were all on the same branch. Just like the Undisputed Era, they are all on the same branch. Good point. I, I give you that. So, I mean, Bobby Fish, Kyle O'Reilly, Roger Strong... All three competitors, uh, they are not, they're very equal to Adam Cole, and they could, they have all the talent in the world to go out there and win a damn match and, and be a star just like Adam Cole. And they could even get this opportunity later down the road for a champion like that, for WWE Heavyweight Champion. So. Indeed, indeed. But I mean, we're talking about our champion, CM Punk, 
orange man himself entering the ring with the Yankees colors. It's going to be interesting to see how he goes ahead in this match. It'll be quite a performance, I bet, by CM Punk. I know, and I've also heard that CM Punk wants to, apparently, just just listen to me and hear me out on this, apparently he wants to wear Chicago, Illinois colors at Boston and Yankees stadiums. I don't, it's weird. But... Well, yeah, he's a Cubs fan. What do you expect? Um, but that is what it's all about, what the referee's holding up right now. And this is our main event of the night. Pete Dunne, Chad Gable, Adam Cole, and CM Punk. Ringing the bell. Let's go, Scotty. And we get an interesting opening exchanges from the four. Oh, definitely. And CM Punk already working on Chad Gable and already I think Chad Gable is already showing the effects of not Oof. being 100%. And Pete Dunn's already bringing out the weapons. Bringing well, yeah, out. he's a bruiser weight. He needs to hit and hurt people. I mean, we've already seen a bunch of people from the UK t put tables on fire. I know, good thing I mean, we haven't seen much of that in the, la in the first two matches of tonight. Yeah. Jesus. But CM Punk already knocked to the outside by Chad Gable, and Chad Gable's looking for a weapon here. And there goes Pete Dunn with that. Oh. Oof. There goes a pin. One. Oof. Oh, not Close. even one, really. And Chad Gable put out a chair. Oh, and Adam Cole yep. grabbing the kendo stick and beating the hell out of Pete Dunn now. Yep, let's see what he's got coming to him next. Uh oh, Chad Gable. Oh! Right on the chair in the concrete. That reverse DDT on top of the chair is insane. And on the concrete on the outside. That CM Punk's got to be a little hurt now. Yeah, he could be. And what's but he could Bill also. Thinking? I don't mean to cut you off. Oh my gosh. Into an arm bar. Wow. Shoot. This is what it's all about. These guys are going to showcase. And give all that they have in themselves to win this match. Yep. Oh, good thing CM Punk reversed that in a clothesline, knocking Chad Gable down. Yep. Oh. Oh. Starting to recliner. Yep. Definitely. Here we go. Come on. Punk's going. It looks like he's going to punk. Yep. Nope. And that was smart by CM Punk. He must have watched what happened earlier in the back. Working on that back is Chad Gable. And another one of those suplexes into the arm bar on Adam Cole on the outside. And now he's got the arm locked. And he's grabbing the arm. Look at this guy. Uh -oh. Oh, he's, he's working the fingers. the fingers. Oh, my God. No. Oh, Ooh. my God. Grabbing the arm back. Oh, scary situation. Uh oh. Gut busted Ooh. by CM Punk. Working on that midsection against smart strategy. He almost went for that GTS there on I Gable. I, I think he was thinking, oh, and CM Punk got in the ring and met a kendo stick. He done said, I got a kendo stick of my own and I'm going to use it. See what he goes for. German by Adam Oof. Cole. He done rolling out of the ring now and looks like CM Punk and Adam Cole could be working on Chad Gable together. Yep. Oh, into the chair. Float over. Let's see what. Oop, oh! Punk dodges. Yeah, and Chad Gable landed on that chair. That's not good. Uh oh. Oh, uh, here it comes. It, oh, he's thinking. GTS! Wow, GTS, you owe me a Slurpee. One, two, three. Chad Gable was eliminated already. And I know Tater Snake would be so upset, and Eric would be so upset. Wow. You really deal with the tweeter, the tweeters on Twitter, don't you? Oh yeah, I do. Jeez, what a mark! Let's see what. Oop. Oh. Pete Dunn just swinging the cane around like it's his own, looking like the Sandman out there. Oh yeah, and I'm I've been hearing uh, the Jim Tunney has an issue with this match. I don't know what's going on backstage. But something that something's going on backstage. I don't know what what, what it is, but 
Look, can can anybody get a camera back there? Record it. Do something. Come on. Uh, I don't know what's going on. Jim Tony is furious of what just happened. Apparently, he's upset of what happened to Chad Gable backstage earlier tonight. So I, I don't know what's going on backstage. He is yelling in my headset right now, saying that he what? is to the point where he wants to kick Adam Cole out of this match and put Chad Gable back in. Well, you lost. Fair. I, I, G- Gable Gable agreed to continue on with this match, so it's it's Gable's own. Oh. Fo- it's just Gable's own doing. Oh my gosh! Pete Dunn. One, two, three. Oh my goodness! We're gonna have a new FOW champion. I, I I'm shocked. Uh oh, Adam Cole though. Here he goes. Last call. One, two. They're all oh, so Pete. close. Jim Tunney is is fury. I don't know what's going on right now in my headset. Uh, I'm sorry, Scotty, but I... I mean, look at this. Adam Cole beating up on Pete Dunn. Uh, apparently, what I'm hearing from one of our producers is Jim Tunney says that he is going to figure out what's going to happen next for this match. And I'm hearing it might even be restarted. Wait. Oh, Adam Cole really close Are with that really pitfall. Are restart the Fatal 4-Way main event? J- Jim, somebody get, somebody get, give me some information backstage. Double under suplex. One. Ooh. Oh. I know I'm trying to call this match, Scotty, but my headset is ringing. Well, it's not a telephone. Uh, I... I, I it, it keeps going on and off, on and off. It's ringing in my ear because of the, the issues. But oh, suplex! Oh, oh. My God, the ch- table! Instead of using his knee, he used a table. Oh, oh, so close! You see, I have a thing on my mic set here that turns them off, so they can't hear me, and I can't hear them. They told me if I do, I'm fired. Uh, well, good for you. One, two. Th- oh, oh, so close with that three. Here we go. Uh, oh, working the leg. I am being told now, Scotty, that if Adam Cole wins Oof. this match, Jim Indian Tony Deathlock. is going to not not just suspend Adam Cole. One, two, th- oh, so close with that three. He will restart the match and make Adam Cole lose the belt if he wins this match against Pete Dunne. He does not want to stop the match for the fans' sake. Well, that's stupid. I, I don't understand what's going on here. This is some shenanigans. It seems like Jim Tunney has been paid out by somebody, it seems like. I don't know what's going on, but hopefully we don't have to do that. I think it's those La Crusa kids again. God damn it. Of course. Let's see. Ooh, oh, nice neck breaker. I mean, neck breaker. My bad. Uh, I'm, my... I'm trying to focus here, Scotty. You know it's hard. Yep. Here I'm, goes another kick. Uh oh. Lifts him up. Oh. Brain bust the knee. Let's see where Adam Cole goes for next. Looks like he's picking him up. No, oh, he's gonna work on that hand again. Oh. Keeps on stomping on that hand of his. I think that's a little revenge of what happened earlier. Oh. Adam Cole's looking him up. Oh, Boom. there goes the knee. Last oh. call. One, two, three. Wow. And I'm just in my headset right now, Scotty. Jim Tunney is going to restart this match here in just a couple minutes. And Jim Tunney is an idiot. Can't he, believe him. He is literally. This is no fair to Adam Cole. Adam Cole has unfairly been beaten up. And we're going to restart this match fresh. Wow, I'm shocked. Jeez. I mean, do we really need to see, you know, Chad Gable get beat up again? I I know, especially his ribs in the situations with... One, two... Oof, only a two. Man. Jim Tunney is punishing Adam Cole. 
Oh, is he going to restart this match as well? No. If Adam Cole wins? No, apparently he says that this is going to be fresh. This is going to be fresh, and, and Adam Cole is suspended for 30 days. Why not Why not have Adam Cole just face off against Chad Gable? Really? It makes more oh. sense for that to happen. I, I don't know what's going on, though. But he has indeed re restarted the match. So, so if Adam Cole wins this, he's suspended. Yes. What the fuck? I, I, I don't, don't know. know. It's Jim this funny. is no fair. Adam, this is unfair to Cole. He, if Adam Cole wins this match, he will be the FOW champion, but he will have to defend it at stardom in a handicap match. Is, is, is Jim Tunney turning heel? Hey, now, let's not start, you know, dragging around some words from back in the dorms, okay? Well, like, uh, apparently if Adam Cole wins, he will have to face Chad Gable, CM Punk, and Pete Dunne in a handicap main event match. But, but that's, oh! not, that's not fair, even to Adam Cole. Well, he shouldn't have attacked Chad Gable backstage, I don't know. I, I'm, not, up, I'm trying not to up, be biased. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Adam Cole didn't attack Chad Gable. Undisputed Era attacked Chad Gable. Well, Chad Gable's up top, and he's looking for a moonsault on CM Punk! Going for the cover! He does pin. One. Two. Oof. So close to the two. Oh! Oofa. Oh my god, Pete Dunne's Pete, gotta be out. Pete Dunne just landed on his neck on the outside. And he's still standing. Somehow, some way, he is. Jeez. Oh! Chaos oh, Theory! No One! Way. Two! Oh, oh! CM Punk kicking out. So does this mean Adam Cole's title uh, win there is completely like... I mean, it has no, to no. be. So CM Punk is still champion. Uh, I, I'm confused. This is weird. It's the weirdest Fatal 4 way main event I've ever seen. But controversial... Jim oh. Tunney is in the pocket of someone. Oh, no, no, look, look, Scotty. Look at the roll-up by Adam Cole to eliminate Pete Dunne. Quick. One, two, oh. oof. Now, see so close with that. Uh, bump, bumped up here. Kick to the midsection. Irish whip to Chad Gable. Drop kick. Kick. Drop kick. Another drop kick. And a spinning neck breaker. Wow. Jinx, you owe me a soda. Uh, whatever. Now Pete Dunn bringing in that chair from earlier in the match. Uh oh, uh -oh. Anaconda Vice on Adam Cole. Anaconda. He's grabbing the rope. He's grabbing the rope. Now this is false count anywhere. Uh, elimination. Uh, I guess rope breaks do not count in this fatal four way match. Uh oh, Adam Cole. Kick to the Bull midsection. Crap. Oh my gosh. Bull crap. He just look at the knee from CM Punk. One, two, three. CM Punk's eliminated. We're going to indeed get a fresh new FOW champion. So 75% of the Fatal 4-Way title matches have changed hands. Indeed for sure. And, and, Ch and Chad Gable basically got a second opportunity tonight. Oh. I know. Now he's going to get beat up even more now. I know, and, and, and it's not going to be long until Adam Cole physically destroys Chad Gable and eliminates him. Here he goes. Throws him in oh. over the rope. Uh oh, oh, punch to the face. What is Pete Dunn thinking here? Uh oh. Uh oh. Power bomb through the table. Holy hell. Jeez. Oh, and then Chad Ooh. Gable into the turnbuckle. Man, I'm, I'm kind of happy it was restarted now. Because Adam Cole could still win this champion. And that would... But it's bullcrap. It is absolute bullcrap. I know it's bullcrap, but it, it, Jim... He sh they, the Undisputed Era shouldn't have done what they done earlier. That is the Jim bull Tunney crap. is Jim Tunney is in the pocket of someone. I, well, I don't know. Uh -oh. Could this be it? Adam One. Cole? Two. Oh, Adam Bull Cole crap. eliminated. Bull crap. It's down Bull to crap. the underdogs. Adam Cole is eliminated. So now it's down completely to Chad Gable and Pete Dunne. This is absolute bullcrap. Chad Gable, 
after the attack, Scotty, actually win the championship. If he does, this is complete and utter bullcrap. Uh, man, I'm, Pete Dunn is... He's definitely hurt from earlier with Adam Cole's uh, attack. You gotta admit that is true. Whoever wins this title is a paper champion to Adam Cole. Look at the reversal, though. Oh, Tombstone. Tombstone! Pete Dunn rolling out of the ring now and trying to take a breather, but false count anywhere, Pete Dunn. That, going outside is not going to help you, especially if you get hit on the apron like that or get assaulted or attacked on the concrete. Let's see who becomes the paper champion here. Oh, will you stop it? You stop it, okay? Jim Tunney has been very much doing something weird here, okay? Well, I, I have no clue what it was. Who paid him off? This man, this man has done... He is in the pocket of somebody. I don't know who, but he's in the pocket of somebody. And Adam Cole wasn't even stripped. He was raped from his title. <laughs> we should not be bringing up rape on YouTube. Too late. Oh, God. God, Scotty, why? And Pete because, Dunn... because Adam Cole was physically assaulted out there by Jim Tunney. He may have not touched him, but by golly, he did do something to Adam Cole that he should have never done oh. before. Chad Gable! Oh, caught by Pete Dunn in mid-air! Don't set the table on fire. Don't set the table on fire. Uh-oh, powerbomb for the table. Holy shit. One, two, oh, oof. Oh, Chad Gable's midsection from the assault earlier in the night to a powerbomb through the table. To a from a gut buster before that in a chair oh. into the chair goes Adam I mean Chad Gable I'm sorry ladies and gentlemen I'm so hyped up Pete Dunn uh oh bitter end to Boom. become the paper champion shut up Scotty one can he do two, it three Pete Dunn is your FOW champion Matt Tennant will be happy now he can Pete. proudly go ahead Scotty Say your Pete, Pete Dunn, the official FOW paper champion. That's all he is now. Is a stupid little paper champion. Oh uh, well look at the replays, the moonsault on CM Punk. CM Punk. Oh man. And then the replay of here's here's what I'm so shocked at CM Punk kicking out of this. Boom! It's, it is just sad to see Adam Cole lose a title that he never really truly deserved to lose. Well, it was all because of Jim Tunney's ego. He won't give me a match against the ref. Now he's restarting matches because he didn't like what somebody did backstage. If he did that all the time, guess what? We wouldn't be seeing Pete Dunne hold the title. We wouldn't be seeing anybody else hold a title tonight. I don't know, but Pete Dunne is officially your new FOW champion of a... Hold on! Scotty! Oh, how the world changes in a minute. Is this what Jim... Did Shawn Michaels pay off somebody else and it was Jim Tony, the president of FOW? Is that, that's the question involved in my head. That is the first thing that popped in my head. This... Are, are we getting the champion? Are we getting the... This it's definitely happening. Look at it. It's happening. Pete Dunn has to defend against Shawn Michaels who cashing in the destined for greatness briefcase. Oh. oh caught. Oof. Really close with that one. Oh, snap suplex into the cover. One. Two. Ooh. Oh, so close to that two. Kick oh. to the back. I thought that was the main event, but we're getting a second one in this pay-per-view. Oh, is it the bad end. end? Oh, Shawn Michaels. Could this be it? Can Pete Dunn retain? One, two, oh. oof. Wow, wow, wow. What a pay-per-view and what a part two. Come on, Shawn. Kick Pete Dunn's head off. Oh, 
Go for a second. Pete done with the bear. Bear. One. Two. Oh, Ooh, not Shawn even a Michaels. two. One count by Shawn Michaels somehow. Some way the veteran. Pete Dunn has to defend his champion, his newly won champion. Maybe this is good for Adam Cole Oof. because this could happen to him. A third bitter end to Shawn Michaels. Could this be it? Going Here it goes. Cover, Scotty. Ref the ref. Trying to check one. Orders. Oof. Oh, one count again. Pete Dunn can't get... Uh, Pete Dunn is done, went through three matches so far. And Oof. another one counts. Scott, Scott, you gotta admit, maybe this is good that Adam Cole was not the champion, because this could have happened to him. It, you see, if this was just only one match, guess what? Shawn Michaels wouldn't be coming out. He wouldn't be. The only reason why he's out here is because Jim Tunney's ego got in the way of him. Now Shawn has come out here and ruining a young star's chance and opportunity to be a champion. And so we'll congratulations, also... Jim Tunney. You won't give me a match against the ref. Oh. And now you get this. Look at him. Yeah, well, Pete Dunn is also a up-and-coming star. And we're... Uh, this is also a false count anywhere. Extreme rules match. For the champion. So, let that sink in. This is going to be... This is one of the most shocking pay-per-views I've been... I've witnessed in FOW in its history. And we've only been on for, what, six months? Not even that... So so here's my question. Is Jim Tunney really looking into the future of wrestling? Or is he just using this as an opportunity to promote one of his boys from back in the day? I don't know, but what is Shawn Michaels thinking here? DDT on the chair! Pete Dunne, I think, is getting screwed as well. Not just Adam Cole. Oh, right to the midsection. What is what is going on with Jim Tunney? On oh, a powerbomb right to, with the shoulder hitting the chair. Scotty, the question is, though... This is not fair to Pete Dunne either. He's well, hold up. Not e I'm, I'm, Pete, I'm saying Pete Dunne had nothing to do with this at all. It was uh, all Jim Tunney. Jim I, Tunney I has, that, is the one who did this. I get, I get that, but I don't understand why Pete Dunne has to go in three matches. Adam Cole had to do two. It, it, it should have just been one main event, but... It's because of Jim Tunney. This would not have happened if it wasn't for Jim Tunney. Now, guess what? We got an old-timer who's going to be our FOW champion. Well, hold up. How do you know that? I mean, look at what he's doing right now. He is disabilitating a worn-out Pete Dunne. I, I get that, but Pete Dunne has fight. Oh, my God. Oh, uh -oh. No. here we go. Jesus Christ, no. No, no, no. Oh, the oh. to the face with the chair underneath. Oh, Lord have mercy, Shawn Michaels. Some Something's got to give in this match. Uh-oh. Oh, belly to belly. Oh, Oof. hit nope. butt. Pete Dunn actually busted Shawn Michaels open. Oh, the power bomb. Suplex power bomb onto Shawn Michaels. And yes, Pete Dunn has to work on that back because we all know. And he's biting the hand of Shawn Michaels. Vintage Pete Dunn. Vintage. Look at this, Scotty. Oh, the arm. You got to admit, it, it, this is a, a phenomenal second main event for the champion. Oh, but Shawn Michaels with a kick out. Shawn Michaels, I don't know what happened. But Shawn Michaels saw an opportunity, and it's all because of Jack Tunney. I don't know if Shawn has paid off Jack! Tunney. Jack! Oh! Sweet Chin Music! Sweet Chin Music directly to the face of Pete Dunne. Did not mean to cut you off there, Scotty. Yes, but Jim Tunney... I don't know if Jim Tunney was paid off by Shawn or oh. anybody, but it's just opportunity for Shawn. Jim Tunney is the major factor in this case. If he just had let the match go on as planned and let Adam Cole take his title and go home, guess what? We wouldn't be seeing this uh, that, at all. That, that is super duper true. But Shawn Michaels has, has 
decided to put a table on the outside. And uh-oh. This is what Pete Dunne did to Adam Cole earlier in the match. And powerbomb through the table. Holy hell. And Shawn Michael. Oh, no. Not the Japanese. They just fixed the Japanese announce table. It wasn't broken earlier, okay? It's free to play and use. Well, they, they did have to fix the top, at least, in the in the monitors. Oh, Delbo oh. on the top on the outside of Pete Dunn. Holy crap. Pete Dunn, how long is Pete Dunn going to last in this match? I don't see long at all. Oh, and then right into the announce table. And what is Shawn Michaels thinking here? He's thinking of some dangerous stuff. I can tell you that oh, for no. sure. Putting Pete Dunn on the table. Punch to the face. And no. Not this. No, Sean. No. WrestleMania 25. Here oh, we come off. Pete Dunn. Just out of the nick of time. And what is this? Pete Dunn. Oh, my God, Top the pieces of the announce table. Oh, my gosh. And what is Pete Dunn doing here? Armbar! Suplex armbar to Shawn Michaels and now wrapping his arm into his legs and he's grabbing that hand and arm. Oh, this is not good for Shawn. Oh! Oof. I hate that. It's nasty. Oh, no. What is Pete Dunn thinking here? Uh-oh. Is this the fourth bitter end on the outside? Bitter end on the concrete. Wow, watch this instant replay, ladies and gentlemen. Bitter end on the outside on the concrete in the parts of the Japanese announce table. Oh, but Sean gets up immediately. And I bet you, I bet you Corey Graves on the uh, WWE announcers are... are oh, sweet Super chin, kick! Sweet chin music out of nowhere, just right there. Out of nowhere, out of nowhere. Watch this. Bam! Both he is cover. deadly with that maneuver. Two. Oh, oh, shoulder up at two. Pete Dunn showing his heart and soul at the end of the night. I'll give him that. Put it. He was put in a situation that is weird. But sweet chin music. Oh. And all you can blame... Right here is Jim Effin Tunney. Shawn Michaels is your new FOW champion after coming in from the, after the controversial ending of the first main event, the original one, cashing in a destined for breaking his free case on Pete Dunn, and is now the FOW champion of future of wrestling. And Shawn Michaels said, has said when he first came to FOW, Scotty, I want to show everyone that I still can be the future. And he has, he has done that. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the future of wrestling right there in the ring. Look at it. Congratulations, Jim. I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy too, Scotty, because Shawn Michaels is your new champion. I know you're upset the Undisputed Era got, got raped. Your quote. They got screwed, okay? They all got screwed in the butt because of this. Jim Tunney has screwed them over and over and over again, and it's making me sick. Yeah, and Shawn Michaels getting his arm raised here by the ref as he's holding his newly won champion. Wait a minute. Scotty. I knew I had a weird feeling when coming into this ring. Wait a minute. What is... Oh my god. Is he here? Is this just another teaser? Scotty, can I get behind you, please? Get out of there! I'm a little Grab scared. your vape. All Grab right. your vape. It's, it looks like it's eight feet tall. Hide behind that. Scotty, is he here? I'm closing my eyes. Tell me when it's over. Big dog's uh -oh. here. Scotty, no way. No way in hell is he here. As Shawn Michaels is in the ring after winning the FOW champion. He's here! Scotty, he's here! 
He's gotta be here. Check in the smoke. Can you see in the smoke? Yeah, I see him. He's right there. Oh. I still don't see him. What? I, I don't see him. Yeah, you see, you see what the little hole is? Oh, um, Scotty, this, this is... You see, oh, there he is. There he is. Oh my god, the demon. Demon Valor is here. It's not just a demon. It's venomous. Oh my god, look what you unleashed Shawn Michaels and Kenny Omega. And he's gone. Scotty, he's gone. We're, we're, he was just right there. Mind games have begun. What, what let, is... the, let the war between the two become one. What a night of controversial and what a night of mind games. And, and a lot of questions to be answered. And another raise of the hand of Shawn Michaels, who is your new FOW champion. I'm stunned after tonight, Scotty. And, and, and the next pay-per-view, ladies and gentlemen, is our biggest one of the year, Stardom. Who will be Shawn Michaels' challenger? Will be CM Punk getting his opportunity again? Can Adam Cole get it? Uh, I mean... Wow, Scotty, you gotta admit, this is some weird stuff. I... I don't know what to say. That's all. I don't either. It, 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 one of the weirdest nights of, of, of all time on Future Wrestling. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm, I'm hearing that Next week, Jim Tunney is going to be live. That's that's what I'm just hearing in my headset. Live at the beginning of the show. What's he got to say for himself? He's going to be he's going to proclaim himself as the most corrupted official here in FOW. I hope he gets fired. I mean, he is the president of FOW now, so. I, I'm, I'm confused. Like I said, more questions. I thought we were going to get answers tonight. And we just didn't. We got more questions than we had before we came in tonight. Uh, I have nothing to say. But ladies and gentlemen, we're out of time. We'll, we'll see you next week. On the road to stardom. Any last words, Scotty? Speechless. Eh, that's what I am too, but good night ladies and gentlemen from Future Wrestling.